Hi, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, look, it's going to be smoking. Look, look, it's going to be swearing. Look, look, you've been warned. So look, look, here I come. In three, <laughs> two, look, look, one. Bye, welcome everybody. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew, welcome. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth. Yes, the greatest show in the multiverse. <laughs> Great show in the Dagon multiverse. Look, and so we have a great one for you today. Bye. All right. All right. We have a little good one here. A little good one here. Of course. The greatest in the multiverse. All right. So story number one. Let's check it out. Solana NFTs are going to go live on FTX Marketplace. So win-win for both of those. Bang. We're going to talk about that. And then uh, this one's just kind of for fun. The Miami mayor says that Bitcoin is a major priority. So we're going to learn about that. And then Swiss Bank, and this is the future. This is the future I'm talking about. Swiss Bank, Seba, is offering yield on crypto holdings. Bang! That's the future. We're going to get into that deeply when we get there. And then we're going to do the shout-outs and daily summary as usual. So let's proceed how we proceed with a bang. Yeah. And then we do a little bit of look, look. Bah! Yes. And we get everything lined up, and then we do a little bit of refresh, refresh, refresh. All right, price of Bitcoin, $57,455. Wait, $445, my bad. And when I left you yesterday, we were at $55,205, so we have gone up. Ah, uh, what have we got up here? $2,220. All right, all right, let's look at the top 10 of the day, folks. Top 10, you know who they are. Hold on, hold on. The usual suspects. One second, guys. All right, top 10 of the day. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, Cardano, Tether, XRP, Solana, Polkadot, USD coin and Dutch coin. All right, let's look at market moves of the day. Sickle did up, sickle is down. Oh, look at you, polka dot, 17% up. All right, sickle did up, sickle is down. Chain link, 12% up. Look at you. Sickle did up, sickle is down. Sickle did up, sickle is down. File coin. Oh, look at you, V chain as well. Finally. <laughs> Sickle this up, sickle this down. Get some smart people must have showed up lately <laughs> in the past 24 hours. All right, sickle this up, sickle this down. Sickle this up, sickle this down. Sickle this up, sickle this down too. Sickle this up to Oh, look at waves. Two and the graph. Two sickle this down. Oh, and look at you, Kusama. Oh, all right, we have, we're going to have nice gains right here. All right, but first of all, we got to look at who lost money today. If you see anything in here you like, go get it because it's on sale. Bah! Oh, yeah. The sales are skimpy today. Half of it's just a bunch of fucking stable coin. All right. Top 10 losers. MDEX, Harmony, OKB, Unisid, Leo, Monero, Terra USD, Binance USD, USD Coin, Tether USDT, and True USDT. All right. Now let's see who made money today. <coughs> bah. Oh, yeah. Solid gains all around. All right. Top 10 gainers. Telcoin, Polkadot, Kusama, VeChain, Curve DAO token, Chainlink, Waves, Filecoin, The Graph, and Revein. All right, let's look at the total market cap. All right. Total market cap is, huh, that's interesting, $2.378 trillion. When I left you yesterday, we were at $2.278 trillion. Ha. Huh. So we've gone up 0. 0.100 trillion dollars. All right, let's look at the 24 hour volume. All right. All right, so 24 hour volume is 108.3 billion dollars. Hold on, let me get a sip, dag on. And I, when I left you yesterday, we were at 108.6 billion dollars. So we've gone down 0. 0.3 billion dollars. All right, let's get to the stories. 
buying Solana NFTs are now live on the FTX marketplace. FTX is kicking ass here. You know that FTX uh, owns the sports stadium here in Miami. Um, yeah, it's called FTX Stadium now. And uh, I saw, when I was watching football this weekend, I saw um, an FTX commercial. They've got a new commercial out, and they've got a mascot with, like, this big round head. And uh, I don't remember he was doing some stuff. And then at the end of the commercial, he's at a pool taking something out of the water or something. I don't really remember the commercial, but... Yeah, so they're starting to make big moves here in America. Um, ah, and uh, and this is also good for Solana in that, well, people are going to buy the tokens that are, uh, sorry, these NFTs that are on Solana. So good stuff for both parties. So let's, uh, let me have a sip and then we'll check it out. All right. In its latest effort, whoa, hold on. All right. <clears throat> In its latest effort to expand its NTF services to its clients. Oh, sorry, one second. FTX US has announced its support for Solana NFT marketplace. This means that users on the exchange can now mint, trade, auction, and authenticate NFTs based on the Solano blockchain through the platform. FTX now supports Solana NFTs. So previously this was not possible as FTX US NFT marketplace only allowed NFTs to be transacted through its website alone. It also meant NFT collections that were built in Solana were being traded on other marketplaces like Digital Eyes and Solanet, Solanart. Blah, 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 some tweets about blah, 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 blah. So, however, with this new development, this means it will now uh, allow users to mint, hold, authenticate, and trade NFTs on the marketplace that has been integrated into the platform. Available information has also shown that it will charge $1 for minting and a 2% fee from participants in a transaction. So unlike other NFT marketplaces, which with loose KYC policies, FTX has revealed that it would maintain a strict know your client KYC for NFT trading on its platform. This, however, could push artists who seek anonymity away to other sites. Well, if you're an artist, why would you want to be anonymous, you fucking moron? <laughs> you're not Banksy. You want people to know your name if you've got good art. Fucking crypto fuckstick. Brad Harrison, the president of FTX US, while speaking on the announcement, revealed that 40 out of the 70 verified collections are now visible on the site, while admonishing artists and their communities to deposit their NFTs. All right. So, look, Harrison also stated the rationale behind building the platform. According to him, we decided to create an NFT market space on, on, FX, on FTX US after becoming immersed ourselves in the NFT ecosystem. The NFT ecosystem has started to infiltrate pop culture, but has been lacking a platform that provides easy access and exposure to the mainstream audience. NFTs on Solana have enjoyed a massive growth since the breakout of the network. The ecosystem has recorded a number of successes and can be seen with its recent, as can be seen with its recent $1 million sale. And there's also been bad players who have capitalized on the newness of the Solana ecosystem to scam investors. All right, so there we go. Bang, Solana NFTs now being hosted on the FTX marketplace. Now, this is a win-win for both parties. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to say about that. It's a win-win, a good partnership, and we'll see how that goes going forward. All right, let's move on. Bang, Miami mayor says, hodling Bitcoin on the city's balance sheet is a major priority. So this is our mayor right here. Well, not my mayor, that's Miami's mayor. I live in South Beach, this is a different city. But Miami's right across the water from us. And so here he is. I don't remember what his name is, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he wants, uh, you know, he wants to rock Bitcoin here in Miami big time. He's actually trying to do something where 
He's going to let employees, city city workers, choose whether they want to get paid in Bitcoin or or real money. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me get a sip and then we'll read it. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez reiterated this week that it is a major priority for the city to invest in, sorry, sorry, to invest a portion of their funds in Bitcoin. It's a major priority for me because I want us to differentiate ourselves as a crypto capital of the United States or of the world, he says. Uh, it was in February this year that Suarez brought a broader proposal before city commissioners to allow Miami to invest its own funds in the trillion-dollar cryptocurrency. In a virtual conversation with Bloomberg, when asked about his efforts towards putting the leading cryptocurrency on the city's balance sheet when it isn't actually permitted in the state of Florida, yet Suarez said, of course, if we would have been able to hold it from the moment that I put the resolution on our agenda, it'd be up by 30 or 40%. <laughs> so I would have looked like a genius back then, but that's the way it works now. Miami is actually going to issue a request for a proposal this month to allow the city's employees to get paid in Bitcoin, said the mayor. Additionally, the idea is to allow the residents of Miami to pay fees and even taxes, potentially, in Bitcoin if the county allows it. Suarez also mentioned the Miami coin, which is a way for people to donate funds to the city and so far have raised $7 million, up more than 700% in the past two months. Miami coin is currently trading at 0.0274 cents. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so, bang, there you go. So, uh, yeah, this guy actually wants the city of Miami to hodl Bitcoins and actually pay out employees and stuff. And so... Um, I bring this one up. It's kind of like the Venezuela thing. We follow the Venezuela, uh, not Venezuela, what was it? El Salvador thing, right? Because they made the Bitcoin legal tender. Yeah, we follow it because you just want to see like, okay, here's the maximalist dream. Let's check it out. And so this guy doesn't run a whole country, but he runs a major city, Miami, international city. And so we're not going to follow every single twist and turn, but... um. Uh, this is it. He's a maximalist. He wants to even pay the employees in Bitcoin. And so uh, we'll just keep following it and see what happens. All right, let's move on. Bang, finally, Swiss Bank Seba. Now let's customers earn yield on crypto holdings. And that's what I told you guys. This is the future. This is the future. Look, 10 years from now, you're going to look back on these days. Like how computer people, how, you know, if you're my age, mid 40s, how we look back on the days when we had floppy disks on our computers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're going to look back on these days when you had to have all these different wallets and all these different passcodes and 24-word blah, 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 and all that bullshit. You're going to look back on that in 10 years from now and laugh, right? Uh, you know, if you ask a kid today, hey, what's a CD-ROM? They don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's how ancient that shit was, and now it's a whole different story, right? And that's how ancient all this crap that we're dealing with now is. Having to cut and paste and I have different wallets and all this nonsense. You're going to have one bank account or maybe multiple, whatever. But you're going to be able to do everything you can do in crypto right out of your bank account. I kind of said it the other day, right? Like Binance, right? Like Binance International. You can do everything off of, off of it, right? Like what I mean is you can buy your stuff and hold it there, but also... If there's a an airdrop, all right, Binance gets it for you. If there's a token migration, yeah, Binance, Binance does it for you. Um, all that. And then, like, this yielding stuff here, you know, you're going to be able to yield right through your bank account. Like, just pick the place you want to yield it at, and the bank will send your Bitcoin or your crypto there to do that for you. Ease of use. Ease of use all in one little app. And so, I've told you that before. And well, here's a bank that's doing it. And like I said, it's a copycat world. Um, you know, all banks around the world are seeing what Seba is now doing. And wow, they're going to copycat this, aren't they? All right, so let's check it out. So a FINMA licensed Swiss bank, Seba. So Seba is a real bank now. You know, Seba is 
not just some like weird little crypto bank. It's actually a real bank. Uh, Seba has launched a program enabling clients to earn yield on their crypto holdings. In addition, the bank will provide support for centralized lending and borrowing services, enabling investors to generate yield by lending Bitcoin and Ethereum directly with Seba Bank. Exactly. Seba, I'll tell you right now what's going to happen. Well, I bet you this is what's happening with this thing. Seba probably has an account with a whole bunch of different yielding things, yield farms or not yield farms, what are these things called? Uh, liquidity pools and shit like that to earn yield. And anytime a client of theirs says, hey, I want to earn yield from blah, blah, blah pool or blah, 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 whatever DeFi thing. All right. They'll just put your money there. They know how much you put in and they know how much you should earn and they give it to you. Um, that's how it's going to go. So Seba Earn lets clients generate rewards from crypto investments. Seba Bank, a digital asset banking platform licensed, licensed, regulated by the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority, FINMA, announced the launch of Seva Earn Wednesday. So the thing's called Seva Earn on Wednesday. The Switzerland-based bank described the new offer as an institutional-grade solution, enabling clients to earn yield on their crypto holdings. Noting that the launch of the Seba Earn caters to growing demand from institutions to manage a range of digital assets, asset yield use cases, from staking to decentralized finance, DeFi, and centralized lending and borrowing, the bank elaborated that Seba Earn's comprehensive staking, wait, comprehensive staking management platforms. Wait, Seba Earn's comprehensive staking management platform will enable institutions and individuals to generate rewards from their crypto investments on networks including Tezos, Polkadot, and Cardano, with more protocols coming in the coming months. Bye! You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they do the staking for you. They do the Polkadot staking, the Tezos, the Cardano for you, right? You don't have to fucking worry about that. And so that's what I was telling you, man. I cannot wait for the day that we get that in America. I've told you guys this before. I know a lot of you guys, you do all this staking and stuff. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't want to get, ru I don't want to get, you know, hacked or stolen or anything. Yeah, but as soon as my bank allows me to do it, of course, I'm going to stake it all, actually. Everything, every penny I have. I just live off the residual income, the, the, the passive income. Now, no. But in the future, absolutely. And this is the future. What this Seba, what this Seba Bank is doing right here. This is the future of banking uh, in terms of the cryptocurrency market. They're going to do everything from there. So in addition, the announcement explains, Seba Earn will also provide support for centralized lending and borrowing services, enabling investors to generate yield by lending Bitcoin and Ethereum directly with Seba Bank. The bank also noted that it will continue integrating support for additional coins. Nice. Guido Bueller CEO of Seba Bank commented, it is clear that as institutional interest in digital assets accelerates, investors have a broader appetite for crypto assets with a particular interest in earning services like staking, DeFi, and centralized crypto borrowing and lending. Bang! So there you go. That's the future. That is the future of banking right there. That's what I was telling you guys about, I don't know, about a week ago when I yapped about it for about 20 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be the future. All right. You're not going to have to. You're just going to go to your one little bank app. Boop, boop, boop. You're going to press, you know, yield. You're going to, you know, or something. And they're going to ask you, okay, what token do you want to use for that? You're going to press the token and say how much. Type in the number how much and where. You're going to pick the place you want to go, the uh, liquidity pool or whatever you want. Press that. Press enter. Done. Any problems? No worries. Your bank's going to give you back the money. Uh, yeah, it's great. This is the future. All right. So let's move on to these shout outs. Bang! Andrew Richard, the enforcer up front. Look, look. What are you doing with that crypto fucks, dick? <laughs> Settle down. Hodl. The juice is worth the squeeze. You heard him. Bang! Love you, brother. Whoops. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to literally bang it. <laughs> that runs you, brother. Bang! All right. There we go. Abundantly me, lover of the sea brother, and the kid. Bang. Grinchable, grinchable, lover of the sea brother. Bang. Oh, there's Kong. What's Kong talking about? 
Oh, yeah, he's yelling at the miscreants. You know what Kong do? You know how Kong's always yelling at them daggone miscreants? <laughs> Bitcoin Kong. <laughs> wow. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. All right, what's he saying? TV News. All right, what's he yelling at them? He's telling them, settle down. Round these part fuck sticks. You too, miscreants. <laughs> Fuel up and relax. Look, look. You tell them daggone right, Kong. Fuel up and relax. Bang, bang. Oh, yeah. Because they're in your scopes. They're in your scopes. Dang, all right, Kong. You know what I mean? Kong, he's the miscreant wrangler. Give me these miscreants in line. One more time. Bang, bang. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you, Kong. Bang. You tell him, brother. All right. Oh, oh, here we go. Bang. Let's see what we got all in here. Well, you know who we got all in here. We got all in downs all in here, Dagon. <laughs> she took it over all in, Dagon. Look, look, she said, fuck sticks. Look, look. Move over. Make some room, because I'm coming in. Not just in a little bit, but all in. Bang! That's how she said it. That's how she did it. <laughs> Lorna, let me go. See you, girl. Bang. Thanks. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang. Deep entertainment. So, brother. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. There's Edwin, the original. Oh, Edwin. So that shit today I told you, all that shit that I wrote in the uh, in the chat room uh, with all you guys, do that, do that. After I got my, my thing, my I got caught in that phishing attack in April. Yeah, I've learned quite a bit about being defensive. Go into your emails, your email account, and go into... The security, go into your profile, in the email account, go into security. And then look in the security settings and see who's tried to log into your account. Because obviously someone did because they got to change your email. So they must have, they must have got in somehow. And then there's usually a, something in there that will say log out all devices. So it just doesn't log out your device. But what these hackers do is they hack into your email. And then once they hack in... They say, keep this device logged in, right? Right? You, you, you've seen that before, right? Where it says, keep this device logged in. That's what they do. So they never have to log in again. So even if you change your password, that device is still logged in to your account. So these hackers can see you, no matter how many, can see what's happening in your email, no matter how many times you change the email. So you have to go into your security settings, and there'll be a thing that says, you know, uh, to... Log off all devices. So what I was telling you in the in the in the in the chat room is Edwin and Edwin, listen close, is not for you to log off your own email from your, your cell phone and shit, is for you to log off everything from your email account. So you have to go into the email account, go into your security settings, and there'll be a thing that says log off all devices from this account. That means all your devices and any hacker's devices will be logged off. And so that's why I told you, you have to change the password first, right? Change the password, then go to that page and click on log off all devices. So now all devices will be kicked off of your email and he's gonna try to, he or she, the hacker, will try to get back in, but they won't be able to because you've already given a new, e uh, new password. You understand? So you have to do the log off all devices from within your email account. And I suggest everybody just do that just every once in a while just to make sure no one's lurking uh, in your email and watching what's going on, okay? So that's how you have to do it, uh, uh, Edwin. Go into the account, go into your profile, go to the security panel, and you'll see something and it'll say, uh, log off all devices type thing. You know, I've, each, each account is different whether you're on Gmail or Hotmail or whatever you're on, but they all have the same feature and it kicks everybody off of the email. And so if you set a new password and kick everybody off, and then you log back in, well, the hacker can't log in, right? Because he's kicked off. So that's how you got to do it, Edwin. All right, Edwin. Love you, brother. See you, brother. The original. Bye. Robbie Hardaway. Oh, I have a story for you someone gave me. But I'm hungry right now. I got to go eat, so I'm going to bounce. So, but he's been with us so long, his picture's in black and white. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. But I have a good one tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Kang retweet, random ACC. All right, love you with the bong. 
Universal misanthrope holding down the insurgency in Central Europe. I got it right tonight. Love her with Zebra, though. Bang! Airdrop, son of a bitch. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Bang! Got you wrong, Kaz. Son of a bitch. Got you wrong, Kaz. Love her with Zebra, though. Bang! Bidding up. Love her with Zebra, though. Bang! Oh, Chief, he's back. Chief V's on the Pasqua Yaki tribe. Look, look. V chain masters, V chain hodlers, V chain killers. Look, look. Love you, Chief. See you, Chief. Bang. Crypto DJ Prestige. Love you, Brother Z, Brother. Bang. KJ Gatsby. Love you, Brother Z, Brother. Bang. All right. That's everybody, isn't it? I actually really am like hungry, hungry, hungry. Oh, my gosh. All right. Vicky Yadav, 777. Love you, Brother Z, Brother. Bang. We did Lorna. We did Banks. Did we do Bang? Yeah, we did that. Who's this guy? Eco News. Passionate about business and economic world. All right. Love you, Brother Z. Bang. What's this? Blade Gunner. Love you, Brother Z. Bang. Shiba Warrior. Oh, sent me that. <laughs> Shib American. Love you, Brother Z. the Bang. You see his little thing here? It says Shib American. All right, that's everybody. You rock, brother. Well, thank you, Jeff. You too. Bang. And then let's get let's get this over with. Anuradha Singh, blogger, a person in the world, Bollywood blogs. Love you, brother. See you with a bang. And George Deersley, author of 12 Camels for Your Wife on Amazon. Ex Juomo and media trainer, now living in a traditional Turkish village. THFC fans. Well, all right, brother. Love you, brother. See you with a bang. All right, let's get back to the Death Star. Bang. Welcome back, everybody. All right. So, a nice quick show. Nice quick show. Nothing special. Well, it's always special because it's the greatest of the multiverse, but compared to the other greatnesses, it's your standard piece of greatness. <laughs> all right, guys. Seriously, though. All right. So, Solana NFTs are. Oh, so we had a great show for you today. Bang. Solana NFTs are live on FTX Marketplace and. Well, that brings money to Solana. Um, Solana's doing really good stuff lately. We've been reading about them. Uh, FTX is growing. I told you, they're the, the the sports stadium here in Miami now is called FTX Stadium. And I've watched a few, you know, I watch sports a lot. And so this weekend I saw a bunch of FTX commercials. Well, it's the same commercial, but a bunch of times. And uh, so they're making moves with actual advertising and stuff. And they actually mentioned the word cryptocurrency in their advertising. And so, um, good stuff, good stuff. So, this is a great partnership, and we'll see how it goes going forward. Bang! All right, Miami Mayor says Bitcoin is a major priority. And so, you know, he's trying to pull a, a Bukele. Remember Bukele? He's the uh, president of El Salvador. Uh, this guy's trying to do the same thing. Basically, he's a Bitcoin maximalist. Um, he wants to even pay the uh, government workers in Bitcoin if they want. And so, uh, you know, he wants Miami to be the Bitcoin hub of America. And he said even maybe the world. So that's cool. That's neat. And like I said, it's a copycat world, right? So. You know, Miami just came out with this new Miami coin. And they want to do all this Bitcoin stuff. And so when other mayors around the country see that, wow, this Miami coin thing earned them money. Um, and stuff like that, you know, people copy. Other mayors will do the same thing, right? And so uh, we'll see. We'll keep track of it. But I just thought I'd bring that one up because, uh, well... Bang, it's a whole country, a uh, whole, sorry, a whole city that wants to, that the mayor wants to bring into Bitcoin. So, bang. And then finally, Swiss Bank said a yield on crypto holdings. And so, that's what I told you. That's the future. That's going to be the future. I told you the other day, like, just how Binance is, they handle the airdrops, they handle the migrations. Uh, the, the, your bank is going to do that for you. Your, your bank is also going to let you earn yield at stuff, just like Seba right here. Right? Your bank is going to be a one-stop crypto shop, and it's safe and secure. 
You're not gonna have to fucking. Well, I mean, if you want to send your your crypto to someone's like ledger or something, you still have to cut and paste. But you're probably not gonna have to cut and paste anything. You're probably just gonna have like your friends' names in like a directory thing. You'll just press the button and it'll send money to your buddy, right? Um, or whoever you want to send it to. And so, uh, that's why I said this is the future. Uh, you know, 10 years from now, you're going to look back on the days when you had fucking five, 10 wallets on your flipping <laughs> laptop and you couldn't remember which one was which and which one got hacked and all that. You're going to look at those days like how, you know, people my age, I'm in my mid forties, how we look at the computer world, you know, like back in the days we had floppy disks and CD ROMs, you know, fucking laptops don't even have places to put CD-ROMs and shit anymore, you know? It's it's ancient now, right? Uh, the technology wore itself out, and uh, and I don't know about wearing itself out, but you know what I'm saying, it's obsolete. And that's how all these MetaMask and just all these little fucking little wallets and stuff are gonna be. 10 years from now, your children are gonna look at you and be like, what, Dad? You had what, 10 things to do? Why didn't you just have an app? <laughs> you know, they're not even gonna know. It's like today, little kids, you know, when you tell them that you were alive before the internet came, they can't believe it, right? They, little kids, they think the internet, you know, <laughs> was always just here. Like, it's a part of earth, you know, like trees and water and air. No, you fucking little shit, little miscreant. <laughs> no, you little rug rat. It was just invented 21 years ago. Well, a little older than that, but. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's how it's going to be. And so uh, I love this. I love this. Um, I can't wait till the day my bank is like, here, put your crypto with us. Here, you, you know, do all this staking and yielding and all this crap with them. I'll do it then. I don't do it now because I'm not uh, I'm not trying to get hacked or anything and have my shit stolen. But um, so everything's on Ledger Nanos. But yeah, once my bank does all that. I'm going to drain those ledgers, keep them just for a good old memory. <laughs> like the CD-ROM, there'll be a memory of back in the days when you actually had to store your own shit to keep safe. And uh, ah, I'm going to yield it and stake it and all of it, all the good stuff. So look, that's how it's going to go down. So Seba Bank, bye. All right, so on that note, let's chill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Bang, subscribe below, press the bell. You'll get an all back in location when I do the show. The greatest show on earth. The Greatest Show. Look. In the vault universe. Look, my name's Shamar Clark. I love talking money. Bang. Love talking crypto. Bang. This is the favorite time of my day. So, thanks for having me in your home. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another fun fact, fact field day of crypto talk. So, until then, subscribe here. Bang. And press the bell so you get notified when the greatness arrives. Watch that video there. Bang. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. And sample some of the greatness. And I'll see you all tomorrow. So look, my name is Shamar Clark. Always watching our money. And most importantly, bang, I am always on duty. Bye. Love you guys. Have a good night or day whenever you're watching this. <laughs> See you next time. Over and out.